Yeah, it's a beautiful evening here. Um, the sky's cleared. There was a bit of cloud around earlier, a bit of rain. And there was some dramatic light on my way down. But it's cleared now, but at least I'm hoping there'll be a clear sky and horizon uh, for when the sun does set. So I'm looking at the sun there, it's going to come down in that direction. You can see the river behind me. Uh, it goes back inland in that direction. But yeah, I'm going to have a look around here. I haven't taken many coastal photographs, at least not along the river here. But it's, it's sort of that time of year, um, sort of towards the end of spring and summer, where daytime photography is so not usually the best, especially we've got blue sky uh, in the woodland. So I'm going to explore more of the coastal areas and, and rivers and sort of towards the evening and you get that nice warm light in the evening. Uh, yeah, see what I can find. It makes a change. I mean, it's, it's somewhere different to explore a new location. I'm still not, this is not far from me. This is about an hour's drive. Um, but there's a few rivers here and we'll see the coast, uh, there's some beaches to explore. But I'm going to have a walk, uh, walk around here and explore and um, see if I can find any compositions. Uh, maybe potentially later on when, when the sun does fall lower into the sky and I'll get a nice light. Just hear the seagull going by there. I'm just walking along a small trowel. I've got the reeds to that side there. And the river is over that side there. So this is, uh, it's kind of a little spur of land here, a very thin spur of land. And there's the trowel which runs along it, which actually comes to an end, I can see just in front of me here. It allows me to actually get out closer to the river. I'll just show you where I am here. Go 360. See the river behind. Well, I'm looking at the sun there and swinging around. And behind me, that's towards land, right, towards the mouth of the river. So it's about two hours to sunset, I'd say. So I'm just going to stick around this small area and just watch the sun coming down and see where the light's hitting certain areas and see if I can make a composition out of that. This is known as the lone tree or the dead tree of Eichen. Uh, I'm in Suffolk and the uh, river Alder is just behind me there. It actually leads down to the coastal town of Alderborough. But yes, yeah, so very distinctive tree this. It reminds me of the white tree from Minas Tirith in Lord of the Rings. But I'm just waiting for the sun to come down over there. Hopefully it doesn't get snuffed out by the cloud. So I'm getting some warm lights now. I've taken a few shots. But I'm just going to wait for that sun to come down a bit lower. It's not the best sky. There is some cloud drifting by. So hopefully as the sun gets lower um, I can do a longer exposure and just to smooth out the sky because there's not a lot of interest in that. But I'll see how it goes. Hopefully the warm light will lift the scene a bit. The sun's coming down in that angle over there. So I should get some low light hitting the side of the tree here, which there is already. But I'm hoping as the sun gets lower, the, the light will get warmer and give more contrast against the sky in the background. did a long, fairly long exposure. I've got a polarizer and a five-stop ND. 
um, just to smooth the sky out a bit. It also uh, blurs out the foreground reeds here. But I don't mind that because it, it helps to soften them out. Um, so it, it gives more focus onto the tree. So the tree is going to be sharp. And I don't mind if the reeds are soft. I don't need them to be sharp. But the sun's just come out now. So I'm going to quickly take some more shots before the sun does fall beyond that cloud, which it can do in the next five minutes. Sun's just set below the horizon there, so the light's gone. Uh, but I did get a few shots here. Um, composition, best I could get, really. It's a good location, so I may come back another time in the future. Just hope to get a better sky. You know, some high cloud, get a really good sunset here. But it's good to explore a new location. And this is certainly an interesting tree to photograph. Anyway, I hope you enjoyed this one. Um, something different this week. Um, but next week I'll probably be out looking for the wild garlic in the woodland. So I'll see you then. Thanks for watching.